guys, Cindy here with Marks and Devers. How are you doing today? I'm doing pretty well. As you can see, my setup has changed. I'm actually um, with a friend right now, and we're just kind of chilling out and doing art. So what I'm going to do here today, and I'll move some of this other stuff, is um, I'm going to work on my Gina Aaron's Design Team video. I've got these two little books. I actually got these at an art show here last year um, in North Carolina. And they're done by Art Creation. This one still has the plastic on it. It's just a sketchbook. Um, and then this one is the same thing, just a sketchbook. And I got thinking, and I have these really cool fabric samples that um, Gina had given me a long time ago. And I thought maybe, I'll show you guys these. I will use one or two or three or who knows, and um, make a really nice cover for these books. So just giving you a quick through. Um, get a hold of Gina. I will have her information in the uh, box description box below. But get a hold of Gina if you're interested in any of this type of fabric. Fabric. I'm pretty sure she can um, tell you where to head to get it. Of course, this is the the feather fabric. A lot of people have seen this one. There's another one, green one. This happens to be one of my favorites, which is this one right here. So I'm going to use those. One if, some, not sure. I also picked out a bunch of um, just odd and ends that I have in my, what I call my Gina drawer. I've got some stamped images of the little animals, um, just some odd and end pieces, a face, couple faces. This is an old piece of canvas of hers that she cut up a bunch of canvas. That's her signature right there. Um, again, some stamps. This is an old piece of canvas. Some stickers. All right, you guys get the gist, right? And then the last thing, not last but not least, um, I plan on using some of her stencils. Um, this one is the hand. Um, this one is the paint palette, I believe is what she called this one. This one I'm not sure if I'm going to use, but that's the stars. This one is Atomic Single Cell. Um, and these, these stencils um, of Gina's, Check them out in her Etsy shop. This one is called, hold on. Um, this is called Modern Atomic Five. So that's this one. Uh, this one is called Modern Atomic 14. So like I said, I'm not gonna use all of these. I'm gonna use a few of them, but just if you're interested in the shape, I'm letting you know what their names are. Uh, this one here is Modern Atomic 12. I have Modern Atomic 7. Uh, this is one of her face videos. This is It says Four Faces. That's the name of this one. Isn't that cool? That stencil. Um, this one is Bricks and Mortar. No, sorry, excuse me. Bricks and Moss. And this one here is Modern Atomic 8. All right, so yeah, definitely check it out uh, if you're interested in any of these stencils. And like I said, if if you're interested in the fabric, give her a con, you know, give her, get in touch with her, send her a message, send her an email, um, and she'll definitely be able to get back to you about you know how you can obtain some of this fabric. All right, so I am going to go ahead and fast forward through the process, and I hope you guys enjoy, and we'll chat at the end. Bye bye.
All right, guys, so yeah, I played around with these two books. This one I decided to use the fabric cover on, and then I did this with the washi. It looks like a nightmare, but it actually will last, um, and I just thought it was kind of cool to keep the fabric down. So there's one sketchbook. Um, this one here I did a little bit different. I used Gina's stencils, and then I just decided to play around by doing a little bit of decorating on them. And then this was another piece of fabric that I just cut out one of the sections and put that on the front. So this one I left the strap on. This one I did not because I wanted to cover the fabric to cover it all up. But so there you go. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below and I will answer them for you. And don't forget to check in the description box for Gina's information and get yourself some fabrics and some stencils and enjoy. All right, guys, take care. Don't forget to have fun. That's what life's all about and happy creating. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.